yesterday or the day before yesterday I went I was in prayer and I asked the Holy Spirit to show me uh, more revelations in Daniel so that day I was just writing um, the ultimate meaning this is the uh, Daniel chapter 11 revealed in part report and this is being prepared for the publisher and the um, the verses the latest ones that the Holy Spirit showed me is the is all of Daniel is decoded now uh, Daniel um, um, I think it was from 19 to 22 or 23 and now Daniel 24 to 35 and then and, and, and earlier was Daniel uh, 40 to 45 so 36 to 45 so here in this report the update and it's just I just added the section in Daniel 11:22. Uh, this is something that I should probably that I should do. Uh, this section is 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 un, is just amazing. What this is this is all decoded, so I don't want to keep uh, too long. So I was doing this, and I'm going to add in the report the section for Daniel 40:45, and then I'm going to finalize this report. I'm going to edit this report. Uh, the entire report and then this will be ready for the publisher. What I would like to speak regarding today is the, um, the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ revealed completely decoded what is Tarshish and what is Tyre. And this is absolutely um, to me extremely exciting because knowledge is power. Uh, wisdom and, and understanding makes us rejoice, gives us this, the, the salvation, gives us certainty in Christ. Because this proves everything. That the Bible is true. And, and uh, the information is from the Holy Spirit. When we accept and receive the Holy Spirit, the, the information, we receive the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said, you'll know the truth and the truth be, will set you free. So this is actually increases our salvation. This gives us more faith and, and allows us to do works because without works faith is dead there you can, we cannot be saved just through faith we have to do works and when we have the wisdom and we have the uh, the uh, um, the understanding and the knowledge uh, then we are spurred on to do these works so and that is in street ministry and also for me and I, I have been in street ministry I just haven't videotaped anything it's been cold out so I haven't videotaped anything in the streets that I've been. That, that, um, however, I hope to do that very soon. Um, hopefully, um, for sure by the springtime. I ordered new flags, and I really want everyone to see the new flags. I finally um, was able to afford new flags. Now, um, Tarshish, Tyre, decoded. So the statue of Nebuchadnezzar is the uh, the end of the transgression all the kings come together as one and they and that is Tarshish and Tyre but I'm gonna the Holy Spirit we're gonna break this down because right now Tarshish is is North America and that is the that is the virgin daughter Babylon of the world it North America is the heart of Babylon that's what North America is and the North American administration, once again, is the Little Horn administration. There's no doubt about that. That's obviously and clear. Uh, important to note that North America is now the, is the nation appointed to, uh, be the, to centralize the world economy. And that's why there's so much turmoil, so much turbulence against the... Um, North American uh, regime, governing authority, uh, put there uh, by the small people in Daniel 11.23. says here in Daniel 11.23, I just looked at this, it is here uh, on the screen, the small people is a alliance of 666 ends of the earth illuminated in the spirit of Antichrist, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, higher corporate office selection of the new world of the few worldly ruling elite, and um, and this is in Jude 4 
and in the last hour worldwide generation of his wrath rebellion against God himself now and the entire physical world worships the beast all who had not, not their names found written in the book of life of the lamb and so this is the the, the system that that they worship they worship the beast they're saying that you know this 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 entity this has has this they've received this uh, so the world the kings have handed over their power okay to this beast and this beast system is the little horn it is the the uh, North American regime so that is going to happen and and that's what Armageddon is all about the war of Armageddon is to stop the centralization because it is a war of natural selection so once again just like Jerusalem they're saying if you want it you gotta have it through war you either give it to us or we're going to war that's all there is to it and that's exactly what the NAA is saying that's what the government of North America is saying. There's no doubt about it. Very obvious. And more than that is the revelation that the Holy Spirit just revealed uh, regarding Tarshish. Now, Tarshish is spiritually raising up Tyre. Tarshish is a code name for world power standing nation. So, Tarshish is, once again, uh, like uh, God says, I raise up nations and I tear them down. So, for example, a Tarshish would be Turkey, the Ottoman Empire. That would be a Tarshish. So, the Tarshish, and then after Turkey, you can, it was, I don't know if there was anyone after Turkey. I haven't researched all this history. However, Great Britain is definitely, or was definitely, a Tarshish because it was the sixth king administration for the entire world. It was Babylon. It was the heart of Babylon of the world when it was in power. It was in power for I don't know exactly how long. Uh, it was, it's a, it, uh, and then what happened is that in uh, approximately 1945, uh, then America officially became the new Tarshish. And, and that's the seventh king era, okay, the 70 years mentioned in Isaiah. So, what Tyre is, Tyre is the military, the envoys, it is uh, of the ruling government, it is Hiram that, that, that has, that is of the trees of the cedars of Lebanon, okay. That is what Tyre is. And Tyre is of the right horn of Lucifer, Satan, and Devil. Tyre is not, is, not, is not Egypt. Egypt is the sail of Tyre. And Tyre is the military stronghold, the fortress, and of, of the government. And so Tarshish raises up Tyre and Tarshish is the spiritual Babylon. It's the northwest corner of the earth. Okay? Yeah, and, and that's found in the report. This is also found in the video uh, Balaam um, Balaam um, the, the pro prophecy God gave to Balaam video in videos uh, in the uh, uh, Jesus Stones of Fire YouTube. It's one of the very first videos YouTube channel. So, now getting into some verses. For example, the first verse that I that I found was in in uh, I wrote down in two Chronicles, nine twenty one. So in in two Chronicles, nine nine twenty one. In two Chronicles nine twenty one. Second Chronicles. Chapter 9, verse 21 says, Is it 2nd or 1st Chronicles? I'm not, I'm all, um, let me see here. 
Second uh, Chronicles nine twenty one. This is oh, this is nine. Okay, so twenty one is here. Uh, for the king, the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servant of Huram. Once every three years, the ships of Tarshish used to come bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and peacocks. And so in uh, Second Chronicles chapter 9, uh, this is speaking regarding um, um, King Solomon. Okay, uh, and but what this is saying, so besides that which was the traders and merchants brought, and all the kings of Arabia and the governors of the land brought gold and silver to Solomon. Okay, King Solomon made 200 large shields of, of beaten gold. So what's happening is that the ships of Tarsh, so the king's ships went to Tarshish. So this is Tyre. And what, what it's doing, these, these are the merchants of the earth. And this is found in, um, uh, in Revelation chapter 18. Okay, so I didn't really um, explain this fully, but I'm going to explain this more fully in, in, in the next few verses. Okay, so uh, Egypt is the recipient, it seems, that of, of, of the goods. They just receive it. It's luxury. They receive it. Tyre is, is what gets the goods. It's what ships the goods. It's, it, 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 or it's what um, uh, delivers the goods. Okay, so Tyre is in control, is what build, it, Tyre is built, the, the, the tabernacle of Moses. Okay, the cedarwood came from Tyre. It didn't come from Egypt. Okay, Egypt is the mass, it's the sail that gives Tyre the locomotion. Okay, it, it, the, the, the steam to go. And, and that's the, Egypt is the left horn of the devil, and Tyre is the right horn of the devil, okay? Now, this is absolutely 100% accurate, and I'm going to show here in these scriptures, the next one that I wrote, I think, was Psalms, Psalm 48, 7. These are very quick, and uh, I stopped researching scriptures because there was enough scriptures, and this would just go on forever and ever and ever, uh, the absolute truth is 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 uh, was is already revealed in Psalms forty eight seven. By the east wind, thou didst shatter the ships of Tarshish. The east wind is many gods. Tarshish is the government. That is the Babylonian government. Is the Reich that that that's been raised up. It's it's like Titus Hitler. Okay, and the North American administration. The Little Horn administration. No doubt regarding that. And I'm going to prove this. This is actually, should prove that right here also. Now, so the east wind is many gods. The east wind is the king of Babylon. Uh, that is um, virgin daughter Babylon. And it is struck by the east wind. And because it's struck by the east wind, many gods, it's a desert scorching wind that dries the soul, then they are given over to the depravity of their own minds. They are being led in, uh, by the devil. Uh, and uh, the, the, um, uh, the head is actually directly uh, being given um, a mouth to speak, authority right, uh, by the devil is given by the devil itself, Lucifer itself. So, by the east wind thou didst shatter the ships of Tarshish. Okay, now, in Isaiah, uh, I'm going to go to Jeremiah 51.31 before I go to Isaiah. Isaiah and Jeremiah, th these are the ones that uh, really shows this. In Jeremiah 51.31 says, Jeremiah 5131 um, this is 50 yeah 5131 says 
one runner runs to meet another and one messenger to meet another to tell the king of Babylon that his city is taken on every side. Now, uh, this here is uh, virgin daughter Babylon. These are the ships of Tarshish, the military fortress. Tarshish raises up the military um, the military. It's, it's the ruling governing power. That's what Tarshish is. So, this is in Revelation where they say rocks fall on us. Okay, so because the city is taken, so this is the natural selection that's happening with the New World Order. Tidings from the East and the North all is also Russia and China. So when China comes out, then the uh, then virgin daughter Babylon, this is what's happening. This is in Great Tribulation. Says, uh, and I'm going to read the rest of this, uh, the next two verses, in, in the next page. And so, here in Isaiah 23.10, Isaiah 23.10 is the, the chapter that shows us. Isaiah 23.1 says, The oracle concerning Tyre, Whale, O ships of Tarshish. These are, these are people that are of Tarshish. For Tyre is laid waste, the right horn of the devil. This is the destruction, the great destruction that's happening, going to happen to the entire world. Tyre is laid waste without house or haven. This is from the land of Kittim also. Kittim, and this is where the, the Prophecy of Balaam video is. Kittim is, the, is Egypt. Okay, so that's where this is being revealed to them. That we're going to war and it's going to be devastated. It's going to be gone. Okay, it's going to kill itself in war. So this is the trumpet right now that's doing this. From the land of Cyprus, says here, but this is also Kittim. It is revealed to them. This is in the RSV version. Now, uh, it is revealed to them. Be still, O inhabitants of the coast, O merchants of Sidon. And this is, once again, the prophecy that God gave to Balaam report. And here in um, verse 10, so here it says, in verse 5, says, when the report comes to Egypt, okay, so this here, this report, let me add verse 5. So this is once again in Jeremiah 51, 31. Um, the king of Babylon, and that's virgin daughter Babylon, heard the report of them. And his hands felt helpless, as a, pain has gripped him as a woman in travail. And this is the Je Jeremiah 50, verse 43 that says that. So this is, uh, once again, rocks fall on us. They're underground. They're in their bunkers. They're in Egypt. Okay? They have all the goods there. And they leave Tyre to do their, their fight. They're, those are the ships of Tarshish. So in verse 5, in, in, in 20, so when the report comes to Egypt... They will be in anguish over the, over the report about Tyre. And so in, in, in verse 6, God is saying, let's advance this. God is saying, he's making the command, pass over to Tarshish, O, uh, o whale, O inhabitants of the coast. Uh, exclamation mark. Inhabitants of the coast. And, and this is the coast that is uh, between uh, the sea and the island, and, and the heart of the island. So this is once again Revelation 10, and uh, we're going to get into that also regarding the foot on the, on the sea. That's the, the, the fourth dimension, the demons, and one er foot on the earth, and that is the land, that is the people, the earth, the clay. And that's the entire dominance. That, that resembles dominance. And that's what the devil is doing. And that's his palatial tents in Daniel 11. He plants his palatial tents. And so it says here to wail, O inhabitants of the coast. So Tyre passes over to Tarshish and wail, O inhabitants of the coastlands. The coastlands are the people that, um, 
they worship the beast, they don't know what they're doing. Okay, they, they, they just follow along. They don't know what's going on. And they actually, the five foolish virgins actually worship the beast in the sense that they, they are somehow kingdom dominionists. Uh, this is regarding the church, and I'm going to get into that. And uh, they are deceived. That's the coastlines. So, and in verse 7, God continues, is this, so this is whale, this is Micah 4.10, I'm going to get into that as well, okay, regarding this, this is Micah 4.10, I'm just going to make a quick note in my Bible here, 4.10, okay, Micah 4.10 is Isaiah 6 and 7, also 6 to 7, okay, and that's my, and that's, uh, is this your exultant city, says God? whose origin is from days of old, Jude 4, whose feet carried her to settle afar. This is the statue. This is what they built. Uh, who has purposed this against Tyre, the bestower of crowns, whose merchants, the Revelation 14, were princess, King Azurus, here in Esther chapter 1, um, verses 8, verse 8 to 10 or so, whose traders were the honored, the renowned of the earth. The Ammonites also. This is the New World Order. This is what the NAA is doing, the North American administration. They're centralizing. It is the, they, they, are, they have become the merchants of the entire world. Okay, they want to open up the China Sea once again, and they want to have to be able to have complete, the gateways have to be completely open for them because they are the banking system that is the Judas Iscariot of the world. And so that must be where the seat of Satan is. Must be. Because that's where it's being centralized to. So in verse 10, so it says in verse 9, the Lord of hosts, Jesus the Christ, God manifested in the flesh has purposed it to defile the pride of all glory, to dishonor all the honored of the earth. This is the generation of his wrath. Uh, Romans uh, 9, 20, 21. He's going to make a short work of it. Once again, Jude 4. These are people that have been destined for this. And so that's why, where we are here in the timeline. We're at the end of the age. This is the eighth king that goes into perdition. So, just been, uh, and this just began uh, at, at the election, the North American election. Now, in verse 10 says, Overflow your land like the Nile, like Egypt. It's not Egypt. Overflow your land like the Nile. So your proudness of what? Of your war machines. The proudness of your, of, of, of your uh, dictatorship. The proudness of your Adolf Hitler. You see, the proudness of your might, of Nimrod, uh, Nimrud also. So what North America is doing, it's actually building the Tower of Babel also. That's what it's doing. It's reached up to heaven and it is fighting against God himself. Any, anyone who is with the administration, any Christian, is an apostate Christian. I'm just going to make that statement. That's what, it, that's what it is. In that way. In just in that way. It's kingdom dominion theology. Uh, if, if, you know, North America wants to build an earthly empire, okay, and so the whole world wants to, not just North America. It's just been given to North America uh, to do that. This is God's plan. And, but they're doing it in a way uh, to um, create uh, a world empire. And they want to do it. They want to create you know, themselves a, a, an artificial world and enslave people. And they want to be served. You see, this is, this is Lucifer. It's Lucifer's New World Order. This is not from Jesus Christ. It's, that's obvious. It's, if this was from Jesus Christ, then there would be miracles. There would be the, the mention of Jesus Christ. There would be the Holy Spirit all over that. And um, 
and of course uh, the uh, there wouldn't be you know um, all these wars the the, the 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 world would be unifying together uh, but you know the devil does mimic and that's why it's very it's difficult I guess to distinguish what is from the devil the spirit of the devil and what is from the spirit of Jesus Christ so that's the situation that's the difficulties um, so we have to be born again Jesus said you'll know the truth the truth will set you free and uh, that is in fellowship with Jesus Christ he's the only one who can show us the difference between the, the good and evil of the devil and the good and evil of Jesus Christ so it says here overflow your land in verse 10 like the Nile O daughter of Tarshish okay so that is the uh, there is no restraint anymore okay so there you go Habakkuk 111 also there and, and then his mind will change there's no restraint anymore and he shall pass over imputing uh, the power of his God and that is himself that is his nation that is his resolve whoever that might be so so in verse 10 says overflow your land like the Nile this is war and and once again this is what's happening um, they're merchants of the earth they're overflowing the land Joseph was supposed to be a vine that goes over the walls and that means spread out to the whole world so here at Tarshish in the Nor NAA North American administration they're overflowing their walls they're going throughout the entire world but they're not doing it in the spirit of Jesus Christ it's not Joseph doing that you know that's that could be Ephraim uh, however um, it is of the devil it's the left horn of the devil. Egypt is the left horn of the devil. It's all from the devil. It's not the anointing of Joseph, of, uh, of, of the God of Israel. Now, um, remembering that that was also in the first covenant, the first age, not in this age. Jesus Christ made a new covenant. So, uh, so I have here... Um, can't really read this. Tarshish equals Tyre. Daughter of Tarshish equals Tyre. Okay, so it says here, daughter of Tarshish. That is Tyre. That is the military once again. The envoys. Um, it's even the religion. It's the religion, obviously, because it's their religion. They're spreading their religion throughout the world. It's Luciferian. This is how it's supposed to be peace, prosperity, security, but it's of Lucifer, Satan, the devil, and this is how we play. These are the rules. We either take it, you either give it to us or we take it by force. That's exactly what the NNA is saying. And they're saying, if you want it, you got to go to war. We're, we're going to get, we're going to present this to you. And, uh, you know, they're, they're controlling. They're controlling all the nations. That's what their desire is to do. They're, they're control freaks, as they would say. Now, uh, as the world says, now, um, Tarshish is the king of Babylon, a predatory rogue shark regime, a Reich, warmongering regime, raised up to destroy, to take over nations and lands. Now, um, in Isaiah 1 to 10, it says, as a river, as as a river, Euphrates. Right in the King James says, "Overflow your land like a river." Okay, it's like the Nile, but it is the Euphrates. Also, the Euphrates is the um, Assyrian river. It is the river of war. It is of Tyre. It is of the sword. It is of the northeast corner of the earth. The uh, Nile is of the uh, southeast and southwest corner okay of uh, 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 of the earth that is the left horn of Lucifer the Euphrates is the right horn of Lucifer Satan the devil it passes through the land of Assyria and it's dry because the soul is scorched and so that is the ships of Tarshish also called the Chaldeans okay and it's a code name. It's a code name. It's what it is. It's a code name. Now, it's not the nation of the Chaldeans. It is a, it's a transgression that came out of Chaldea. And uh, that is the land of Assyria. And that is also uh, a different principality, I guess. 
called, uh, so God uses that as, um, as a code name for that specific transgression. So, um, Tarshish, once again, is very important. I uh, have it, yeah, it's in 1 Kings 5, 8, so he, this is regarding the, the tabernacle. Now, in Jeremiah, so the Euphrates is, equals no more strength, destruction, Babylon has fallen. So, when God says there is no more strength, okay, he, and, 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 and this is in Isaiah, um, or in Jeremiah, also in Isaiah 47, I think it is, there is no more strength, right? Sit on the dust, O virgin daughter uh, Babylon. There is no more strength. No longer she be called tender and delicate. Okay, this is from the north and the east. There's no more strength. This is once again is Jeremiah 51, 30 to 33, uh, speaking regarding lamentations also. Now, in verse 33, so, so, um, there is no more strength. The destruction is to Babylon. Babylon has fallen. Okay? And, and that's found in... Um, let me just read the verses here, and, I'm gonna, and, and, and it's going to get to Isaiah, Isaiah 47. So, I have this all. This is just how I, the Holy Spirit, I was led in this order. So, of, of, of scriptures. I wrote down again Jeremiah 51, 30 to 35. And Jeremiah 51, 30 to 35 or 34 says, So 31, one runner runs to meet another and one messenger to meet another. So the, 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 they cross over the Euphrates River. This is a great tribulation. China and Russia, that, that army in Revelation chapter 9 at the, at the end of the sixth seal, at the beginning of the, then the seventh trumpet, and then physically manifests in the dispensation time of the seventh trumpet. That's where we are right now. One runner meets to run another, and one messenger to meet another, to tell the king of Babylon that his city is taken on every side. The fords have been seized. These are passages, bulwarks, are burned with fire, that is the religion, that is the protocol, the policies, the procedures, right? Everything is fallen. It's, uh, and the soldiers are in panic. This is Tyre. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor at, that, at the time when it is trodden, yet a little while, great tribulation, and the time of her harvest will come. Okay? So her harvest is what? Is a, not a good harvest. God is going to bundle them up. He says he's going to take the tares, bundle them up, and put them into the fire. And the wheat he will collect, and he will, uh, he will put them into his barn. You know, the wheat he will collect into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. You know, you brood of vipers who's warning you to f f uh, flee from the wrath to come, bear fruits worthy of repentance, and do not begin to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For God from these stones can raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruits is cut down and thrown into the fire. Repent, repent, for the kingdom of the Lord is near. Every mountain and hill will be brought low, every valley filled in, every rough road made smooth, every crooked path straight, and all creation will see the salvation of God. For John came to baptize with water unto repentance. But after him came one mightier than he, whose sandals even John was unfit to untie. And he is the one, Jesus Christ. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hands, and he will thoroughly purge his threshing floor. The wheat he will collect in his barns, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. And this is speaking regarding the ends of the earth, which John the Baptist said. And, this, and what he said was, from the very beginning of the covenant, right to the very end, he's going to burn with unquenchable fire. That's his refining fire. He's going to put his fire when he comes down on earth... The refining fire that all his people went through. You know, he's gonna he's gonna refine he refines us through fire and all the the fire, the refining fire of the Holy Spirit that we've been through, 
all humanity, all his children, ever since the beginning, is going to be poured out all at once at his second coming, and the earth will burn and the people will melt. The elements will melt with fervent heat. Because Jeremiah said, Correct me, O Lord, but not all at once, unless I be reduced down to nothing. Their tongues will melt. Their eyes will melt in their sockets, says the Bible. Their tongues will rot because of the holiness and the glory of the re refining fire of the potter, of the creator. So one runner runs to another to meet another, and me one messenger to meet another messenger to tell the king of Babylon that his city is taken on every side. That, that's, that's, that's the nation, that's also the, the entire world. This is also Lucifer, Satan, the devil. This is the east wind, is the demons. They actually report to, to Lucifer as well. The fords have been seized, the bulwarks are burned with fire, at the, and the soldiers are in panic. For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor at the time when it is trodden yet a little while, and the time of her harvest will come. It's a threshing floor at the time when it is trodden. So they're, they're, they're possessed. They're possessed by foul spirits. As is the king, so is the people. And the time of her harvest will come if they surrender themselves to the king of Babylon. 34 says, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, has devoured me, and this is the mouth of the eater. Nahum 3, 5, and 12 is also includes the church. And this is what God wants to speak regarding, regarding the church that is kingdom dominionists that are saying that Donald Trump is uh, an anointed of the Holy Spirit of Jesus Christ. That's not true. Um, Mr. Donald Trump is not born again. Mr. Donald Trump is um, is not is being used of God. Yes, of course he's being used of God. Everyone is. Um, however, he is being used to close the age. He's being used to bring war, to bring destruction, to usher in Armageddon. This speaks regarding the NAA, and it's not just. I'm not. This is not just Donald Trump. Now, this is the, the small people in Daniel 11.23. This is the, the, the association. This is the, the, the 666 elitists of the world that are causing, that are giving, that are writing the script. And, and, and they're, they're switching on all the switches. They can switch the economy on and off at their desire. They do whatever they want because they own it all now. And it's time for them to transcend. So uh, God has placed the people there where they are. For his particular reason and you know after you know we go through all the fire you know God is going to you know going to, he's a savior of all men so I'm not against any specific person I mentioned the name Donald Trump I'm not against him I, I don't hate him I don't dislike him God has actually given me a heart to um, you know to like him and I, I and and to be honest with you with you um, I mean, this to me is exciting, what's happening. I mean, Donald Trump is... And the same thing would happen with the other administration, and that's the reality of the situation. They're running a, uh, a program. Okay, so if the Democrats would have been elected, it would have been the exact same thing happening. And, if, and, and, and what I'm saying is that this thing with the Democratic parties and all these rulers going to be going to jail, the FBI is going to put them in jail, they're going to go through huge tribunals. This is a ploy to keep the people amazed and, and dazzled while the great destruction, the great murder, murdering of all people, the culling, the depopulation is happening. So the people are being destroyed as they're gazing in this uh, paramount picture uh, movie that is being created. It's not real. It's, 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 it, it is an artificial um, works that are being sown. It's not real. So, and, and, and these things are obvious because a disciple of Christ recognizes a disciple of Christ. We have a spiritual connection, a familiar spirit. And uh, that's how we know. Jesus said a good tree cannot produce bad fruits, a bad tree cannot produce good fruits. By their fruits you'll know them. The spiritual man knows all things. He's not to be judged by the carnal man. 
because the Holy Spirit lives in us, and the Holy Spirit leads us into all things, and He will show you the truth and the things to come. He will teach us. He will be with us. He will show us. And so this is the trumpet once again. This is the watchman warning that we have to get good with Christ. We have to seek Christ. We cannot go with our own ways because if we go with our carnal minds, you know, uh, you know, we're just going to fall into this trap. The whole world is deceived, says the Bible. If the whole world is deceived, we must understand that we are being deceived. There's a great deception out there. And it's mainstream. And the whole world follows that. And that's exactly what is happening. The whole world is following this, this Paramount uh, movie, this drama that's being presented. They're all deceived. It's all distractions. It's all streams that go, that, that, that ultimately have their source is Lucifer, Satan, the devil, creating chaos. What the devil does, it, it creates so much religions... It creates so many different distractions that the truth is being buried, just like a person who is demonized by legion. The soul of the person is being is buried in the background. It never the, the person is never able to speak, and so that's what the truth is like here in the world. Trying to find the truth, there is no way that the truth is being spoken uh, in those islands. And especially the world, the, the, the premier world stage, there's no way that the truth is being spoken there. It's impossible. And of course, not only just to say that as, as you know, using common knowledge and deductive reasoning, once again, the Holy Spirit is the revealer. And the silver and the brass cannot understand the gold, the, does not, is not the gold. And the goal understands all things, and that's why the church is having problems. There's too much hay, wood, and stubble stopping it from understanding the reality of the truth of what is happening. There's too much interference. It's, it's a deception, and there's mixtures involved. Uh, so some, some of it is right, and some of it is wrong. And if we don't have that discernment to figure out what is what, and only Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, can show us that we have, so that's why we have to have a relationship. But we cannot have a relationship unless we follow His laws. Obey, obey all His laws. And then we have a teacher. Then we have a master who's going to lead us into all things. And then we'll be able to figure out and see exactly what's happening. This is what the Holy Spirit has put in my heart to present to you. Now, in uh, Revelation 18. Babylon is fall. It's the merchant city. Okay, so Jeremiah and to, to 33 is great la is lamentation. So here in 33 it says the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor at the time when it is trodden yet trodden. So Babylon is trodden down. It is the east and the west uh, and, and the north that come. Okay, so you have the, the great demons and then you have humanity. So the east and the west is, and the north is also demons from the north in clay. Okay, demons of the devil, the Baals, in humanity. It's, it's a scorching wind of the east, and it comes from the north. What is north? Is Tyre. So you have the east and the west. The east is Tarshish. And the west is Tyre is the sword. Tyre is the sword of God. Okay, and that's in Isaiah 10. And it's also in uh, uh, Isaiah 10, verse 5, I think, yeah, the sword of God, Assyria. That's Tyre. Okay, the Assyrian is the sword of God, it's the Euphrates River. And that is, that is Tyre also. It's a code name. It's just a, uh, there might be a, there's a small variation. It's from a different nation. It's probably a nation that, that, uh, um, that was the first of the nations. It's Amalek, okay? And then after that came different nations. It changed, possibly changed the name. However, this is, God is saying that this, this is how you were taken, and this is how now you are being, okay? So that's, 
So God is going to use, God is a micro, he's micro-analyzing everything. And that's what he's put in, he's done with me in Daniel. He's actually had me micro-analyze Daniel chapter 11. And, that, and, and he's given that to me. Uh, because he has given me the gift of interpreting tongues. And those tongues are angelic, and every word of God is God breathed in the scriptures. The scriptures is written through the angel of God, the angel of life, the angel of his presence. Jesus Christ is the angel, and his words are to be interpreted in visions and dreams when he speaks to us also, and his written word also. That is the gift of interpretation. Uh, and um, speaking in an unknown tongue is something that we can do on our own at home because we pour out our hearts not knowing what we are saying and, and that does work that does work however it's not for the congregation so uh, and that it, because it's just confusion and it, it's actually used to put curses in in the churches the, the, so they're speaking in unknown tongues and they're they're actually I've heard one brother use the word raka when he was uh, interpreting tongues. So you know he was actually cursing the person. Or he was trying to curse me. And the, the devil was using him to curse me. He didn't know. He just thinks he's doing a great ministry. And so once again, God says in Ephesians that some people, they preach Jesus Christ out of strife and contention. Other people preach out of pride. They want to be popular. Others do it for money. A lot of different reasons. Others do it to control. Others do it to, to destroy. Right? And of course, all those things do destroy. So, uh, the church. Now, so in Revelation 18, as you said, etc. Revelation 18 is, is the merchant city of Babylon. It's defeated. It's become a haunt of jackals and every cage of unclean bird. Uh, and that is hell. And that is the heart of Babylon. Once again, it's NNA. It's the North American. And what's happening, and I'm going to write, I, I wrote down that the people are being afflicted by other nations because of this patriotic thing and all this stuff. Uh, but in any way, anyways, here, in, in, um, I want to go to 2 Samuel 5.11. This is extremely important. In 2 Samuel 5.11, 2 Samuel 5.11. This is regarding the cedars being used, and it comes from Tarshish. It comes from Tyre. In 2 Samuel 5, uh, 11. 2 Samuel 5, 11. And Hiram, king of Tyre, sent messengers to David and cedar trees, also carpenters and nations, to build David a house. So this David is Jesus Christ. And it was the king of Tyre that sent messengers to David. Okay? And cedar trees, also carpenters and masons, to build a house, David a house. This is in the first covenant. So Tyre builds the house and Egypt dwells in it. Right? And, and provides it with, with luxuries and stuff. So this is going back to uh, Chronicles where Chronicles says that um, let me see if I can uh, find it here in, in, in Chronicles is the uh, is Tarshish, okay, in Chronicles. So it was Hiram that built the house, and he was of Tyre. So they're actually building the churches. Okay, they're, they're building, they're, they control, it's the north horn of the devil, you see, the north horn of the devil. And then the left horn teaches it. So the right horn builds it. And then the left horn teaches. That's because Lucifer is the god of this world. Second Chronicles 9.21 For the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Huram. Once every three years the ships of Tarshish used to come bringing gold, silver, ivory, apes, and, and peacocks. So... Uh, the king also made a great ivory throne. So this was Solomon's kingdom. And, and he... Um, and uh, he was receiving from Tarshish. 
okay? And what and Solomon had the, the vessels with Hiram. He had ships built with him. And so Tarshish, once again, is the northwest corner of the earth. It is the um, is Tarshish, and, and, and Solomon was part of this. Uh, he, um, and uh, were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold, silver, and, and was not considered in anything in the days of Solomon. So it was all gold. But this was the gold, for the king's ships went to Tarshish with the servants of Huram. Once every three years, the ships of Tarshish used to come and bring gold, silver, and other precious merchant commodities, led by the sale of Egypt. And uh, King Solomon excelled all the kings of the earth in riches and in wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put into his mind. So, God gave Solomon uh, a presence over the entire world in this covenant. So, uh, this is what's happening, but Solomon, okay, had, um, he ruled over all the kings from the Euphrates to the land of the Philistines and to the border of Egypt, and the king made silver as common in Jerusalem as stone and cedars as plentiful as a sycamore of the Shephelah, and horses were imported for Solomon from Egypt and from all lands. So this is the New World Order that's being centralized right now uh, in North America. Now the rest of the Acts of Solomon, and Israel, and Seir, and he reigned for 40 years, that's one hour. One hour. And Solomon slept with his fathers. So, um, and so Lucifer was running the entire he was running everything okay it was the left horn and the right horn of the devil that was that was building that was doing all of these things and that provided Solomon okay because Solomon once again um not speaking bad about King Solomon, but he was he had um, he was taken by his wives, and um, he was he was scorched with the east wind. Without a doubt, he was. Okay, and so so he um, God led him. God used him to go and experience all these things, I guess, prophesying, you know, what the, um, what the end time is going to bring. So, uh, if you want to compare the NNA as a King Solomon, in a sense, you can compare this. However, what I'm saying is that the, it, it's being led of the devil. It's not being led of God, okay? So what God is saying, and, and we're in a spiritual covenant now, so things have changed. Okay, we're, 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 this is spiritual selection with God. God says to come out of the world now. Things are different now. We made a, there's a new covenant. And we are to, to not take part of the, co of, of the worldly ways. We are to be born again, and we are to come out of the world system and walk with God. That's what God wants. And of course, God has a remnant in the system, and uh, God, so that's where our heart is. Our heart has to be with God, and then God is going to bring us out of the system. Okay? So, the, his first fruits, that is only the five wise virgins. There's the five foolish virgins that are not first fruits, and the first five wise virgins, who, are, who, who have to be martyred to become the gold. They are the silver. And the 144,000 that are already sealed when the, at, at, at the seven trumpet. So, once again, this is not, because of this information, this is not to be lukewarm. This is not a message that, no, no, everything is okay, you know, you can just keep on uh, being in the world and, and keep on, you know, wanting war and, 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 and agreeing with the world system with what it's doing, because what it's doing is wrong, it is antichrist. The system is antichrist, and we have to have protection. 
Okay, now to, to pray and, and to bless is good. Uh, however, uh, patriotism is wrong. And um, being against someone because they're against uh, your nation is wrong. Okay, every nation is flawed. This is not our home. Okay, we can help people and minister to them through the Holy Spirit. However, we have to love our neighbors and view others better than ourselves. And obviously, uh, we are the, this centralization is the New World Order being birthed. It's, it's Lucifer, Satan, the devil. It's the seat of the devil that's being birthed. That's the reality of the matter. Now, um, and there is no other uh, definition of what is happening. That's what's happening. Now, also in 1 Kings, so this is 2 Samuel 5, 5, 11. Okay, 2 Samuel 5, 11. 2 Samuel 5, 11. Here, I'm king of Tyre, sent messengers to David and cedar trees, also carpenters and masons, masons, okay, these are Freemasons, who built David a house. So this is, this is Jesus Christ. King David is symbolic of Jesus. Now, in 1 Kings 5, 8 to 9. 1 Kings 5, 8 to 9. 1 Kings 5, 8 to 9. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have heard the message which you have sent to me, I am ready to do all your desire in the matter of cedar and cypress timber. My servants shall bring it down to the sea from Lebanon, and I will make it into rafts to go by the sea to the place you direct, and I will have them broken up there, and you shall receive it, and you shall meet my wishes by providing food for my household. Okay, now, 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 now go to Genesis 47. You shall provide food for my household. Go to Genesis 47. So Joseph bought all the land of Egypt for Pharaoh. And, and that's who Hiram is. He's a type of Pharaoh, flesh, spirit, and soul. Flesh, soul, and spirit of man given over to Lucifer. For all the Egyptians sold their fields because the famine was severe upon them. The land became Pharaoh's. So they sold their kids, they sold everything. As for the people, he made slaves of them from one end of Egypt to the other. Now listen to this. Only the land of the priests he did not buy. So he built a tabernacle, and Joseph was a god of the covenant, and Joseph bought everything for the Pharaoh. He controlled all the people and gave it all over to the Pharaoh. And this is what Hiram is saying. Only provide food for my household. For the priests had a fixed allowance from Pharaoh and lived on the allowance which Pharaoh gave them. So the priests were indebted. Solomon here, Solomon is saying, you're indebted to me, Solomon. I'm giving you all of this only, and, 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 but you can have it all, but I, I, I make a request, provide food for my household with this. So what this is saying is that Solomon is responsible to hear them for what happens, what comes out of that nation. That nation is used for the house of God. So now the house of God is indebted to the devil, to Tyre. And this is also happening with the 501c3 churches. They become a worldly corporation. So they're indebted because they're serving money. They want to be tax exempt to not raise up a voice against the corporation. And the corporation is the beast system. So, uh, food for his household is the uh, Hiram, king of Tyre, right horn of Lucifer, Tyre, king of Tyre, provided the cedar for Solomon to build the temple. Tall cedars of Lebanon, Amorites, New World Order, elite control the world, churches, Isaiah 10, uh, Five, East, Tarshish, West, Tyre.
Okay, so burned by the east wind, that's Tarshish, but, but this is king of Tyre at the time. Lebanon was not a Reich. And this was not King Nebuchadnezzar. This was not, uh, this was a time of peace, so it's just Tyre. And Satan the devil is positioning uh, as Tyre, trying to steamroll, right, control everything. That's what Tyre is. Isaiah 23, 17. Isaiah 23, 17. Isaiah 23, 17. Reading out of the RSV Bible. At the end of 70 years, the Lord will visit Tyre, and she will return to her hire and will play the harlot with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. So Tyre, this is the New World Order, it, it is being visited, and she will return to her hire as Tarshish. Her hire is the spirit of the devil, and it goes into perdition. Okay, Revelation 17, 11. 17, 11. It's the eighth king. Her merchandise and her hire will be dedicated to the Lord, and this is after the second coming. They go into perdition, and this is world war. They want to establish a new world order. They want to build the Tower of Babel. They're preparing the seat for Lucifer, Satan, the devil. So here, Tyre, the entire world... China the dragon is raised up last for World War Armageddon. Babylon is NAA, the heart of Babylon, uh, North America, and Jeremiah 53, uh, uh, and, and we spoke regarding, I spoke regarding this in Jeremiah 50, 43, so this is what's happening when Tyre is going to be visited. She's going to go back to her hire, and she's being visited right now, preaching the gospel, the ends of the earth. And it's after 70 years, so that means that the children of God are being released out of Egypt, and Satan hates that. That's why it's so angry. And it's why it's making continuous war against the seed of God. And it's not, you know, Satan, uh, people showing up at your door and saying, renounce Christ. It is spiritual, it is methodical, and it is this kingdom dominion theology that's happening right now in Davos, Switzerland, and the speech there, and throughout the entire world. Okay, this, prior to that, and this is going to get more and more obvious and more and more prevalent that the New World Order is being birthed right now. Everything is being positioned in this Jubilee year. and Satan has taken over the Jubilee year, so it's given the inheritance to Esau. So Esau is going to the inheritance, completely going to the inheritance right now. This is the official Jubilee year in the midst of the Sabbath year and the 70th year. Okay, and, and uh, physical 70th year. So it's right in between the two evenings. Lucifer has taken over everything. It wants to take over the Passover. It takes over the Pentecost. It takes over tabernacles. It takes over everything. It wants to be God. It wants to gain creative power, as the website says. And now, and that was in the Two Pills report also. Now, uh, so in Jeremiah 50, 43, the king of Babylon heard the report of them, and his hands fell helpless, Anguish seized him, pain as a woman in travail. Rocks fall on us. They, they, uh, the, um, Revelation 18, the smoke of her burning goes up forever and ever. They've lost natural selection. They fear for their lives. They're panicking. Pain has gripped her. She holds on to her stomach and says, pain has gripped me as of a woman in travail. And this woman in travail is, is Zion, the, the, the city, the, the people that belong to the city of Zion. These, the true Zion, where Jesus Christ, the city of God himself, in heaven. And this is the first fruit. So the pain that the woman has gone through, he, they experience the same thing. 
okay? Uh, the, uh, the birth pains, and this birth pain has been happening for approximately 40 years. Okay, 30 years now, approximately. Uh, since uh, the, the, the one hour began. And we are certainly in the last hour, that is the last 40 years. Now, uh, so, it says here in 44, Behold, like a lion coming up from the jungle of the Jordan against a strong sheepfold, I will suddenly make them run away from her, that is his first fruits, and I will appoint over her whomever I choose, for who is like me. So he's appointing himself. He's appointing Jesus Christ over his first fruit harvest. Who will summon me? What shepherd can stand before me? So I'm going to be the shepherd. Right? Of the people. This is, I'll make her suddenly run away from her. This is the first five wise virgins. So, is this great tribulation when the first bomb goes off? Is this finally going to knock some sense into them? Or is it because that, for sure, that's when that's going to happen. When I say knock some sense into her, I'm saying that a lot of the first fruits, as the Bible says, they're sleeping, and they believe that Donald Trump is, um, is helping the church when, in fact, Donald Trump is taking away from the church, the administration, the whole administration. They're taking away the reality of God. They're dulling the minds of the children of God. And you can see right now, in the screen, if you're still watching, that that looks like a serpent or something. I can't really see very well, but I'm looking into the camera, and uh, I'm getting a lot of demonic um, signs in the darkness, blackness of the uh, website. Or not the website, but of when the screen goes goes black, you can see that the devil is completely taken over my computer, and he he puts demonic signs. There's another video, 19 minutes and 40 seconds in the video. I forget exactly which one. There, where where there is a real uh, another demonic manifestation there. So you're watching a demonic manifestation. Kind of looks like a serpent eating something, a prey, a human being, a giant serpent eating a human being. But I I. I at this angle, I can't really see it exactly. So, I'll just put this back up. And that's what the devil is doing. And what it, do, it does when it's doing that, it, it's discrediting me. It's making me sound really bad. It's making my appearance before the population uh, see really, really bad. Right? It's just it's, it's discrediting me. That's what it does. So, my walk is with Christ. doesn't matter what people say. I know who I am in Christ. I have certainty. I, I'm, uh, I'm at that point now where uh, nothing affects me. Nothing. It doesn't matter what the world does or what the people say. I know where that is coming from. So, that's where we need to get to. That, that is perfection. That is, we have to get to that perfection. And we've got to get to the next level of perfection, the next level of perfection, the next level of perfection. And never stop. So... Uh, here we have Revelation 6:16. 6, rocks fall on us. The hand, the, the 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 king of Babylon is helpless. Anguish sees him as a pain of a woman in travail. Okay, and Jeremiah 52, 50, 43. So now in Isaiah 47:1. So I'm gonna we contrast here. I'm gonna contrast the spirit of 666 and the spirit of 777. Okay, now. In Micah, I can start in Micah, is, is uh, 6, is 777, sorry, uh, 777 in Micah 410. Micah 410, God is saying, uh, Writhe and groan, O daughter of Zion. So the king of Babylon is writhing and groaning in pain as, as a woman in travail. Writhe and groan, O daughter of Zion. This is the covenant children, like a woman in travail. For now you shall go forth from the city. That city is Jerusalem. So this is the last, this is when Esau takes over the world. So the world is supposed to be the city of Jerusalem. But you're going to be out of the city of Jerusalem in heaven. You'll be in the outer court. That is the world taken over by Lucifer, Satan, the devil. 
uh, Revelation 11 to the outer court. And earth, the entire earth right now is the outer court. See, God lives in our, in, our, in our souls. His spirit communes with our spirit, our extension, being our conscience, and also in our souls. Now, many, so here says, you shall go forth from the city, from heavenly Jerusalem, I'll vomit you out, and dwell in the open country, that's the field. The field is our ministry, okay? Uh, the kingdom of heaven is like a person who found um, a precious jewel and, and sold everything he had and, and hid it in a field. That's the field that God has given us, the anointing to do his ministry, our field, what he's purposed for us to do. We found a jewel regarding what he's purposed us to do. So we hid it in a field, we hid it in our ministry. And we sold everything we had to buy that ministry. So whatever worldly possessions we require. And you shall go to Babylon. You shall dwell in the open field, in the open country. You shall go to the field. And you shall go to Babylon. And there you shall be rescued. There the Lord will redeem you from the hand of your enemies. That's 777. So that's the spirit of Jesus Christ. Virgin daughter Zion, born of Jesus Christ, writhing in pain. Now, in Isaiah 47, Isaiah 47, um, 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, that's the grave. Sit on the ground, that's Job without a throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for you shall no more be called tender and delicate. So there is the Chaldeans, okay, you shall no more be called tender and delicate. And so this is the um, fallen us prepared by the devil, or, or pampered by the devil. Okay, rocks fall on us. Okay, this is they're pampered, you know, by the devil. Um, they're sitting in Egypt and uh, sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, covenant with death. It's a covenant with death, right there. And the Chaldeans in the Bible is the army of King Nebuchadnezzar, and uh, and once again they are. Um, called the Chaldeans. That's in, uh, in Jeremiah. King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of the Chal the army of the, uh, his army is the, God calls his army of Nebuchadnezzar the Chaldeans. Okay? And once again, it's not a nation, but these are um, led, these are the ships of Tarshish. That's what they are. They're ships. People are ships. They carry a load of whatever the government, whatever the, the people are, who are sending the cargo, whatever they want, goes into the cargo, into the, into the, the, the container, and then it is shipped. It is brought to a different land. Um, and those are the merchants of the world. And it is also a message for the world in the form of uh, an envoy or a military. Now, um, America, citizens of America are being played by politicians of other nations, by flatteries and attacking their president before Christians, etc. Christian Association are being, with lack of discernment, are being invited to partake with Tarshish and Tyre in order to serve their nation. This deception is causing greater deception within the body of Christ, covenant children of Jesus Christ, because these are supposedly the elite administrations, and um, they're being, they are deceived in certain ways. Not entirely deceived, but they are deceived in certain ways. They are deceived. And they are being brought into Babylon. They're being brought in. They're being invited in the New World Order. As a gentleman would invite someone to come and partake. And in that way, 
they, they're believing in themselves that the Lord has given them dominion. Rather, the Lord wants them to go there and minister. He wants them to go and He wants them to minister there. And, of course, God uses people to minister the way He uses people to minister. I mean, you can't put God in a box. And uh, God is crafty also. So we have to be very wise. And, and really, the message to that is not that, uh, you know, everybody's doing everything wrong. Um, necessarily, the, the, the message is that just be led of the Holy Spirit in everything you do. And be innocent uh, in your actions, in your speech. Um, when, uh, because, uh, be, and encourage the body of Christ. Speak through the Holy Spirit so that the people understand. Uh, the, those with a familiar spirit of Christ, they understand exactly what the Holy Spirit is, is saying through you. So that we understand where God's heart is, where the heart of God is regarding this specific situation. And once again, Paul, Paul writes, we speak wisdom to those who are perfect. Those who understand what Paul is speaking and saying, also through his writing, are perfect. And so we speak a coded language. We speak the language of, 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 of Zion, the language of the angel of life. Whereas they speak the language of the angel of death. So we have to speak... We, 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 that, that, is, that, that is where um, we shine. That is where the body of believers, they actually rule over this planet. When we're speaking that code between each other, we're understanding these things. Um, national pride and uh, arrogance, uh, kingdom dominion theology before the second coming of Christ. And there is a a dominion there, and that is the 144,000. But that's all it is. And the dominion is not a world takeover. The dominion is just walking through in Psalms 91. And then the Holy Spirit comes and gets us, because if those days would not be cut short, no flesh would survive. But for the sake of the elect, those days will be cut short. So kingdom dominion is the 144,000 who are given protection. God himself protects them through the, pl the pestilence and the plague and all the, um, uh, all the war, the spiritual and physical war that is happening. So, I hope you're edified. God bless you. Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. Father God, protects us, protect us, Lord. We just surrender everything. We bring it all to you in the storehouse uh, of flesh and uh, soul and spirit. This is yours, Father. Uh, please, Lord Jesus, control us. Uh, uh, possess us. Uh, Father, we surrender all things. We pray for truth. We ask that we may be enlightened in your Holy Spirit, that we can take words with us in prayer, and you'll draw us into your presence so that we can get to know you better and that we can get to the next level so we can be protected, so we may have the knowledge and the wisdom of the things that are happening right now, the things that are coming, that we may know the timeline of the, of, of, of the events uh, that, are part, that are happening right now. You can show that to us in your word, and you can put that in our hearts, uh, Lord Jesus, and, and keep us and separate us away from this world, we pray. We do not agree with any falsehoods, and Lord Jesus, if we've been deceived by the spirits, we, have, we, we repent. I repent of being deceived of any spirit, of being led astray in any way in my speech, anything that I've spoken. Lord Jesus, please correct me in due measure, and show me my way so I can repent. I beg and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, I also have, who is King Cyrus proof? Now, this is, this, this is going to go into the manuscript, but I have to uh, add how um, God plundered King Cyrus in this report. And then I also am going to be publishing, I need to write another report regarding uh, what is the Pharaoh. And I think that'll be it. And that's just going to go in the manuscript. This is my heart. Um, I have enough to do several volumes. I can just start with the older reports, but I really want to get into a lot of the new um, revelations regarding these deep, deep revelations and Daniel chapter 11 uh, and, and these two reports and the two pills report um, modified. I have to uh, go over it, edit, edit everything and, and get those things published. So... Um, I need the energy, I need prayer, obviously, but I've been working on it and doing very good, but there's a lot of work involved, a lot of time consuming, 
uh, consumption involved. Um, and however, the revelations are awesome, and I'm rejoicing in all of these things. So uh, the street ministry is strong and, and, and going to continue right to the end. And the, the studies are strong, and uh, the website, uh, they've gone into perdition against the website. Um, so that's in the hands of God, and whatever happens. Uh, however, um, obviously, the, the Holy Spirit showed me it's because Lucifer saying the devil's really upset because of the two pills report. Uh, that's wh what really triggered it off. And it, it goes into the hearts of men, and, 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 and uh, men are given over to it, and you know, and, and, and that's what happens. That's why it was taken down, but the entire website as well. However, now um, the information is even better, not because the website is down, uh, because the, God has put in my heart now to do this manuscript. He's put in my heart now. I'm ready. I, I, I ready. I had a publisher two years ago. I had to pull out because I was not ready. It just wasn't ready, and I felt it wasn't ready. Uh, for whatever reasons, I pulled out, and it was a good thing. That was a good thing. I did that. Now, the manuscript is ready. This is amazing information. So, God willing, time permitting, uh, I hope to have the manuscript out, uh, hopefully, by February, uh, presented to the publisher. So, I can use those prayers. God bless you. Jesus is Lord. Jesus loves you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Almighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen and Amen.